Hello everyone, this is Sean and I'm back with another astrology video for you. So uh, glad that you could join me today. Today I'm going to be uh, talking about uh, Scorpio rising or the uh, Scorpio ascendant. Uh, what it's like for uh, somebody to uh, be born with a uh, particular rising sign such as this. Now, um, the ascendant or otherwise known as the uh, rising sign was the uh, constellation that was uh, rising on the uh, eastern uh, horizon at the uh, time of one's birth. This is a uh, given and uh, it's uh, obviously something something uh, nobody can uh, choose for themselves. So um, it's uh, something that, that is uh, deeply uh, ingrained into our uh, personalities and what the Ascendant uh, represents is, is uh, the uh, char characteristics most uh, readily seen, most that, that are most obvious to uh, other people. Uh, think of it as uh, the external self. Uh, it's a shell. It's uh, what uh, you display to uh, the outer world. Um, of course, the... Uh, human psyche and uh, mind, it, as well as the emotions, uh, they go uh, far more, uh, they're far more complex. Um, you would have to uh, examine uh, one's astrological chart to uh, gain a, a better understanding of a particular individual. However, uh, the ascendant sign is uh, the one that is most uh, apparent to uh, others. Now, um, the focus of my uh, video for today is that of this Scorpio rising uh, person. So what are these uh, people like? Well, they're uh, very intense, uh, very uh, secretive. Uh, they can be uh, very uh, passionate, diligent workers. Um, they are more prone to uh, holding their um, intense uh, feelings inside. Uh, they don't uh, readily display uh, emotions such as uh, sadness, uh, fear, anxiety. Um, the Scorpio rising uh, person uh, tends to be uh, very secretive. Uh, they will never say or uh, write anything uh, unless they absolutely have to. And uh, whenever they do, uh, it's done in such a... Uh, calculating way that uh, may uh, offend or um, may uh, upset others. Um, Scorpio rising people are known to uh, talk in uh, a fashion that astrologers call the uh, Scorpio sting. Um, sometimes they say they're very uh, blunt in their speech that uh, they uh, upset uh, the emotions of uh, other people. But um, th it's not their intention to uh, hurt others. Uh, it's just how they uh, come across to uh, other people. Um, now, a more uh, detailed description of uh, how these uh, people work is that um, I'll give you a, a rundown of uh, all the zodiac signs that to fall on each cusp uh, whenever uh, Scorpio is rising. So we have uh, the first house which represents uh, uh, the uh, external, the initial external self. Um, uh, so basically with Scorpio on the rise, uh, the first house represents uh, physical appearance so these people look uh, very intense. They look uh, very secretive. They usually like to wear, wear dark clothing and uh, they have uh, very uh, penetrating eyes that um, can be uh, quite intimidating for uh, some people. Scorpio risings can uh, come across as uh, intimidating uh, they, they just have such uh, a mis mystery to them that uh, is quite fascinating, fascinating to others. Um, it can be quite attractive or quite repulsive. 
With the Scorpio rising, there is no uh, gray line. There's no silver, silver lining. You either, either love them or you hate them. That's uh, how powerful they are. And uh, with Sagittarius uh, on the uh, second house cusp, uh, these people pretty ha pretty much have a good luck in uh, financial matters. They know how to make uh, money multiply. Um, they uh, have uh, such a philosophical uh, stance towards uh, money and finances. Um, yes, um, and depending on uh, the kind of uh, planets that are placed in the second house, they can be a pretty astute with uh, how they uh, handle, handle money and uh, how to make it multiply. And with uh, Capricorn sitting on the uh, third house cusp, uh, Capricorn is a sign of conservatism limitation. So um, it's no surprise that uh, Scorpio rising people can uh, be aloof uh, very quiet, very reserved. They uh, don't like to say uh, anything unless it's absolutely necessary. And uh, because they're so, the way they craft their words is so calculating. As I've mentioned before, they it can become, it can sound pretty uh, harsh. So, um, yeah, that's where the Scorpio sting comes into play. And, um, with Aquarius on the fourth house cusp, the uh, fourth house uh, represents the uh, domestic life, uh, the home environment, uh, it can represent childhood. Um, with Aquarius, uh, Scorpio risings can uh, be uh, rather unconventional. Uh, they can have a very unusual home environment. Um, they could... Uh, uh, it, it can either look very uh, futuristic, I mean, with uh, the influence of Aquarius, or um, it can look uh, very uh, plain. Um, they could have uh, many uh, crystals uh, as ornaments lying around their uh, house, or um, they may uh, have uh, they may uh, have books cases with. Uh, esoteric books on the, the shelves. Um, yes, there's that. And um, with Pisces on the uh, fifth house cusp, uh, Pisces is a very uh, dreamy uh, sign. And uh, the fifth house has to deal with a romance, fun, creativity. So um, these Scorpio rising people uh, are fond of uh, dancing, um, anything, uh, spiritual that uh, brings them, uh, pleasure. And, um, they're fond, they're also, uh, fond of, uh, art, um, spiritual art especially. And, uh, they, um, often like to, um, do spiritual activities for pleasure. And yes, the, with Pisces also being a compassionate sign, they're also uh, compassionate to uh, children, and uh, which uh, chil children um, being another uh, element of the uh, fifth house. Um, it, it, children can be a source of, source of uh, joy to uh, Scorpio rising people as well. Now with uh, Aries being on the sixth house cusp, Aries is uh, such uh, a fiery uh, sign, uh, full of the uh, warrior spirit, full of initiative, and the uh, urge to take action. Um, well, the sixth house, that uh, represents one's uh, work environment, uh, health. Um, yeah, so um, with these influences, Scorpio rising people can be, are very hardworking. Uh, they're uh, passionate in whatever uh, job they uh, undertake. They're probably the hardest uh, workers out of all the uh, rising signs in the Zodiac. And um, they're, they like to be uh, very independent. Um, they uh, don't like to uh, have uh, their supervisor uh, 
looking down on them all the time, watching them every uh, with every move that they make. Um, Scorpios need that uh, freedom to uh, accomplish their goals, uh, accomplish their tasks, and um, if you allow them enough freedom, they'll be able to do it quite effectively. So, and um, they uh, are often found in uh, the Scorpio risings uh, would make uh, excellent factory workers, uh, which require which uh, requires uh, lots of. Uh, physical energy, uh, physical labor, and um, yes, uh, with the Aries on the sixth house cusp, uh, Scorpio Rising will uh, be blessed with those uh, physical energies uh, to accomplish their aims. Now, um, with the Taurus lying on the seventh house cusps, which represents relationships, uh, with other people. Um, Scorpio rising people will prefer to have a, a partner who's uh, stable, um, who um, is somewhat conservative, um, very practical, uh, but uh, has someone who has those uh, nurturing energies to um, provide them with uh, excellent care, uh, someone to uh, help them uh, uh, beautify their uh, home environment, um, someone uh, very calm um, and uh, stable, uh, so uh, the Scorpio rising person can uh, easily confide with, um, just, uh, some, just someone who uh, can take uh, comfort in um, just uh, being able to appreciate uh, the beauty that they have in their life and environment. So um, that's that. Now with Gemini on the 8th house cusp, um, Gemini rules uh, thought, communication, and um, b being able to uh, open, op openly uh, communicate with about many subjects. Uh, and this, the eighth house that represents uh, death, um, the afterlife, uh, taxes, shared resources. Um, Scorpio rising people, um, they have uh, no problem uh, discussing and contemplating these uh, subjects, uh, as well as uh, sexuality. Sexuality is a uh, key uh, element of the eighth house. As a matter of fact, or Scorpio rising people uh, often like to um, think about and uh, talk about uh, sexual matters. And um, they like to um, talk openly about uh, uh, death and uh, esoteric subjects, the underworld. Uh, these uh, topics really uh, fascinate uh, these people. And, um, yeah, so that's that. And with Cancer, uh, on the ninth, the ninth house cusp, uh, Cancer represents, uh, emotions, uh, uh <laughs> excuse me, uh, the, it can also represent the mother, uh, the domestic life, whereas the ninth house, uh, represents uh, travel and uh, higher education. Um, Scorpio rising people have um, the an unconscious emotional need to um, discover and uh, travel to uh, foreign lands. And uh, they uh, are able to emotionally bond with uh, foreigners uh, more easily than uh, other risings can. And uh, they may have had a mother who um, who uh, encouraged them to um, expand their horizons and uh, develop um, an appreciation for uh, those foreign cultures uh, by emotionally bonding to uh, um, distinct cultures and um, the citizens of uh, those uh, 
res respective uh, countries. So that's that. And now for uh, Leo on the uh, 10th house cusp, um, yes, Leo is a sign of pride. Um, it, it can be very uh, egotistical. Uh, Leo likes to shine in the spotlight. And uh, the 10th house represents your one's uh, personal reputation, um, their uh, career ambitions, and their, their level of success. For uh, Scorpio rising people, um, they like to uh, have a career where they're able to uh, shine in the uh, limelight. Um, they uh, would excel in a creative career. And uh, they want to take pride in uh, all in uh, all of their uh, accomplishments that they've uh, achieved in the community. Um, they uh, w they strive to attain uh, public recognition for uh, their efforts, their uh, contributions to uh, the community at large, and uh, they uh, take great pride in uh, receiving. Uh, their the appreciation from others and um, yes um, they could uh, potentially uh, go in, into a, an artistic uh, career such as a theater or um, broadcasting or um, you know just uh, some kind of artist uh, somebody who um, can bring a element of creative joy to um, the community at large. And yes, yep. And so now uh, we have, we come across Virgo on the 11th house cusp. Uh, Virgo represents uh, like Taurus practicality, um, but also the service to uh, humanity, um, service to others. Uh, critical thinking and um, the 11 house represents uh, friendships um, yes the the, the uh, outside community in general and um, I find that the Scorpio rising people uh, tend to um, use uh, other people uh, for their own uh, purposes to help them uh, achieve what they want to do. Um, Scorpio rising people uh, don't uh, naturally have a lot of uh, close friends, but uh, the ones who are uh, close to them, um, they want to ensure that they uh, provide, uh, they, that they are very helpful towards them, that uh, they can uh, help them achieve uh, their own goals. Uh, and uh, ambitions and um, you may you may uh, find uh, Scorpio rising people to be uh, fairly selfish however um, they uh, deep down they uh, are very they can be very uh, caring um, they um, are very uh, supportive of others and um, once uh, they have received uh, help from their close friends, they Scorpio rising people will uh, in turn help them um, as uh, a token of saying uh, thank you for for to show uh, appreciation for um, the help that they've been uh, provided with. And uh, last but not least, there's a Libra on the twelfth house cusp. Uh, Leo, excuse me, Libra is a sign of uh, justice and fair play. And uh, the uh, 12th house uh, represents um, uh, one's unconscious desires, uh, one's uh, hidden agendas. Um, with, uh, Libra on the uh, 12th house cusp. Um, deep down, uh, Scorpio Risings, they may uh, seem selfish and controlling and aloof and uh, dangerous. However, um, they do uh, have an inherent sense of uh, justice and fair play. Um, they uh, are concerned about the uh, betterment of uh, society. Um, 
they uh, have they um, have to uh, work hard to uh, overcome feelings of uh, resentment and uh, revenge. Um, yeah, if one uh, just more of a general rule overview of the uh, Scorpio Rising personality, they. Uh, may uh, have suffered a flight, slights of uh, injustice. Uh, they uh, may have gone through uh, turbulent times uh, throughout their childhood. And uh, this can generate resentment and even feelings of uh, revenge. So um, the Scorpio Rising person has to be very careful uh, not to... Um, take his uh, resentments out on uh, those who uh, have inflicted harm upon him or her. Um, they uh, need to uh, analyze themselves and uh, do uh, any uh, necessary uh, shadow work um, so they can uh, have the ability f to forgive those who've uh, transgressed. Um, yeah. People who have inflicted uh, wrongdoing upon them, so, and uh, yes, uh, Scorpio rising people, uh, they're uh, con they're constantly uh, transforming themselves. Uh, with Pluto being a co-ruler of Scorpio, um, they uh, are always having to uh, undergo uh, regeneration and uh, rebirth of uh, some kind. Um, Life uh, is not so great for uh, these people. As I've mentioned before, uh, life to them is, is very black and white. Um, they uh, may not be so forgiving to those who uh, transgressed, uh, inflicted harm upon them. And um, they, they can uh, tend to be a hard on themselves too. Um, even uh, the slightest mistakes uh, that they've done, um, they will uh, often uh, carry it with them. And uh, I, I think a Scorpio rising person just needs to uh, lighten up a, a little bit and uh, just uh, take life as it comes. Um, yes, he uh, may be so uh, fixated towards uh, um, uh, resentments, um, his uh, mistakes that misdeeds that uh, he's done in the past and uh he just has to learn to uh, let it go just uh be just uh appreciate the uh, present moment and uh move on and uh yes um so that's uh basically my uh this has been my general perspective on uh, the Scorpio Rising personality. Um, be sure to like, comment, and uh, su subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And um, I actually enjoyed producing this video. I uh, hope you uh, found this to be helpful as well. So um, wherever you are in the world, I uh, want to say God bless you. Um, be safe. Be uh, kind to one another, to one another, and um, that's it. I'm signing off, and um, my name is Sean. Thank you for watching. Um, God bless you. Uh, love you all for your uh, support. And uh, I will. I'll just close by saying uh, peace, much love, and namaste. God bless you. Namaste.